This SD style O organ has been in storage in Cedar City, Utah for at least 15 years. The previous owner stated that it had been in service in a church in Richfield, Utah for a number of years. The serial number indicates it was made approximately 1917. Of course, there was a lot of internal dust and dirt that needed to be cleaned out, but the organ was generally in pretty good condition. The fabric on the billows and air reservoir had been completely disintegrated. So I stripped it down to the bare frame and started rebuilding. The billows cloth was crunchy and had a number of tears in it. All of the billows cloth, the leather, the felt, and the other fabric all needed to be stripped and replaced. It had a, an extremely large reservoir that took over 8 feet of bellows cloth. After rebuilding, the air reservoir would hold vacuum for over 10 minutes. The old brown shag carpet was removed and replaced with new material. Here's the lower action all cleaned and restored and back in the case. Next is the reed pan. All the pallets and springs have been removed. The leather and felts on the pallets were in good condition other than needing a good cleaning. Several hairline cracks in the soundboard were repaired and the pallets and springs replaced. The seal between the reed pan and the foundation board was replaced with good quality leather. New felt was applied for the reed beds. All the reeds were cleaned with an ultrasonic cleaner and then replaced in their cells. The leather on the mutes was in good condition but needed a thorough cleaning. The fabric was replaced on the swell shutters and of course all the wood was cleaned. The couplers were in pretty bad condition as far as dirt and moth-eaten felt. All the corrosion was removed from the metal, new felts throughout, and new fabric on the hinges. New felts were put on the collars of the stickers where the couplers connected. Next was cleaning the couplers to the sub-base. A number of the keycaps were not original and had been glued with contact cement. Don't ever use contact cement. It's hard to remove. All of the keys were cleaned, all of the felts replaced, and new key bushings. A new linkage on one of the stops had to be built. The stop assembly was completely disassembled, the metal cleaned, and new felts. None of the keycaps were original. They were modern replacements, and most of them were wrong. New ones were made from modern materials and matched the names that were in the original SD catalog. Next up was the sub-base unit. These are some really large reeds. At this point all the lower reeds were tuned. Two additional ranks of reeds were in a separate assembly above the keyboard. Rebuilding this was very much the same as rebuilding the lower reed pan. New felt for the reed beds, clean the reeds, put them back in their cells, clean the mutes and reassemble. New fabric for the shutter hinges and then tuning on the bench. All the connections between the keyboard and the upper assembly were adjusted. Time for final tuning on the tuning bench. All of the wood was cleaned and restored, preserving as much of the original finish as possible. Now it's time to put everything back in the case. First the reed pan up through the keyboard, then the stop board assembly and all the connections to the mutes, then the Vox Humana and the risers, finally the upper sets of reeds and the sub base. Here's the back side with the upper works installed, and the front side. And finally, the last of the wood and trim.